Thank you, Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that the statement by the Terry family regarding Congressman John Dingo's criticism of the contempt vote be placed in the record at this time. Without objection, it will be placed in the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'm sure the gentlelady from New York recognizes that the right of a minority hearing has not been exercised, and that would have answered the questions as they are well aware about bringing Kenneth Melson before the committee. That would be their right. They did not exercise their right. With that, I yield a minute to the gentleman from Florida, the senior member of the committee, Mr. Micah. The gentleman from Florida is recognized for one minute. Thank you for yielding. When the Founding Fathers uh, created our government and established the committees in Congress, they had authorizing committees, and they had appropriating committees. In 1808, the predecessor of this committee was established for a fundamental reason, and that's to make certain that programs and funding were properly uh, executed and used by agencies created by Congress. Congress created the law that created the Department of Justice. Congress funded the programs that are under the Department of Justice. It's our responsibility to investigate when things go wrong. And things went wrong. An agent of the United States was murdered with weapons which were funded by the agency that we created. All we have asked for is the documents. All we want are the facts. And we have been thwarted. Eric Holder, Attorney General of the United States, the highest judicial enforcement officer of the United States, has been in contempt, is in contempt, and is showing contempt for the Congress and the responsibility under the Constitution of this important committee of Congress. I urge adoption of, of a contempt resolution against the time Attorney the General. Has expired. Yield back the balance of my time.